When you've been through what I've been through, you learn a lot, you adapt. I knew my life was going to change, but I also knew nothing was going to change me. I'm 70. Uh, I've spent half of my life here running this farm. We do a great deal of therapy uh, that has helped us rerun many horses that have left the track and need a second life um, and a new go at things. In 2013, I get off a flight in Newark and could not get to the curb uh, without resting several times. And I uh, saw a physician and tests were begun. He did have a diagnosis, a firm diagnosis of antiphospholipid syndrome, which was causing the blood clots. And uh, he had an attack plan to stop it. I went into New York to Columbia Presbyterian. While I was at Columbia Presbyterian, they took a very conservative approach, trying to save my leg, my foot, as much as they could. Uh, we worked with them for six months, had uh, some procedures done, and unfortunately, we were losing the battle. I asked to be transferred to a rehab facility that was in Meridian system. I picked Shrewsbury Meridian because of their rating, because geographically it looked like a good idea, and I had no idea that that was going to be the key that let me go on with my life. The heart and soul of that facility is their rehab is the people in it. They never said no. They never said you can't. There isn't anybody from the, from the cleaning staff to the front office that doesn't interact well, that doesn't take a part of responsibility for you. Unfortunately, in the first weeks I was there, uh, they discovered that there was a problem in the other leg that needed to be addressed. My right leg had started to fail. It had irreversible damage. Uh, I was taken to Bayshore, my choice, in the Meridian system. And Dr. Corso operated that day. And I lost my leg below, my right leg below the knee. Friday night, I was in Riverview Hospital acute care uh, for therapy. Their medical support was superb. I remained in rehab until uh, oh, mid-June and came home uh, and was lucky enough to work with Meridian at home. I now had a wound nurse who was with me day and night and I had a therapist, Jean Schulstrom, who is in the system who is just completely outstanding. She carried the ball, got me what I needed and never took their foot off the pedal trying to help me. Just the heart and soul of, of my being able to learn to do what you take for granted. Step off this step, go across these stones. The challenge of simply getting to the bathroom, going down one step and then up one step were overwhelming. It didn't take me too long to figure out how, to, how I could get it done on my own. Uh, the therapist, made it very easy to figure out what was the safest way to do things. And then, by repetition, I did them. And I can't think of one thing that wasn't perfect for me. Dr. Corzo and his staff, uh, I couldn't do this. I wouldn't be this far without them. And I still haven't had anyone say no to me. Dr. Corzo, is a visible presence to you personally. He would come in and say to you, before I leave, tell me one thing I can do for you. He had a floor full of people. I'm sure he asked all of them the same thing. That is so key. I have no visualization that I do not have legs. I have never considered myself not having legs. I just get around different, that's all. So and I don't believe in complaining.